Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all, we going east of the border today. I don't know what I'm going to name this, but I got a couple of K. Jones living in my neighborhood from New Zealand, one from Appaloosa, and one from Slidell, Louisiana, y'all. And they tell me, Jeffrey, one of them really K. Boy, boy, that ain't no fried catfish. You got to put, put some mustard on that catfish. I say, what? You got to put mustard on that catfish. So I've eaten mustard on catfish. I've eaten mustard on fried chicken like they do it. I don't normally do it. Nothing against it. I say, one day I'm going to do a video of some mustard, Cajun, Louisiana, however you want to say it, mustard, breaded, Louisiana catfish. And that's what I'm going to do, y'all. All I'm going to do is very simple. I got some Tony Saturez Creole season. This one is his recipe. Tony Saturez Creole season. I got some yellow mustard and some Louisiana fish fry. And I'm going to add just a little flour to this uh, fish fry. I usually do a four to one on that. Other than that, that's it. I, I'm saying catfish. This is snapper, y'all. I'm using snapper. That's all I had in the freezer I want to use up. So I got some nice snapper here. I cut it in four pieces. Beautiful uh, snapper from the Gulf. So... I got that nice cut up. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna, uh, first thing I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna get some gloves on y'all. This is gonna be kind of messy. This is gonna get kind of messy here y'all, what I'm about to do here. So let me get set up y'all and I'll be right back. All right y'all, first thing I'm gonna do y'all, I'm gonna go on and put my breading in my bag here. Yeah, I use my uh, shopping bag. People say, oh, that ain't kind of can whatever it's in there to kill it. This hot grease will kill anything, y'all. Sometimes I use Ziploc. Sometimes I just go old school and use a use a plastic bag. Back in the day, we used to use them old brown paper bag and shake that chicken up in it, and that had all that glue in it, all that glue in it. Okay, I put a little flour in my Louisiana fry mix, y'all. Just a little flour add to it, and that's it. Use a little Louisiana fish fry. A little flour and I just kind of mix it together. That's all it is. Louisiana, Louisiana fish fry and a little flour. This is what I use here. Crispy, seasoned Louisiana fish fry. That's what I use and a little flour. I do a four to one if people want to know. Okay. Now, we're going to get this out the way here. The first thing I'm going to do, let me close this up, get this back out the way. We're gonna put our fish in here, and I'm gonna season it first with the with the Tony Citri as as uh, uh, what you call it? Uh, what's it? May May's Happy Channel. She say Tony Chichira, uh, Tony Chichira. I love me some May May's Happy Channel. Y'all never seen her channel? Go and watch it. Okay, put some of that on there. Now we're going in with this mustard. I'm telling y'all, I got confidence in y'all Cajuns. Y'all Louisiana people don't get mad at me. Y'all be mad, want to fight when a Texan play around with y'all with y'all recipes. Y'all be wanting to fight. Y'all on y'all Louisiana people. Y'all take y'all cooking too serious. That's why you ain't never seen me make no gumbo on him. Cause I don't want you Louisiana people coming after me. Okay, I'm gonna put some mustard on this fish. I'm gonna let it sit there, hang out a little, little bit. We're going to let our oil start heating up here. Anyway, y'all, I'm going to come right back. Once the oil heat up, all we're going to do, we're going to put this fish into the breading, right into the grease, y'all. Fish in the breading, right into the grease, and it's good to go. So we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. All right, y'all, we got our oil over here heating up to about 350. So all we're going to do... We're going to put the fish, drop the mustard, uh, bread it. Like I say, y'all, this is a snapper that I got here. I'm going to do two fillets, four little big pieces at a time. I ain't going to overcrowd my grease here. So move y'all over here. Like I say, the oil is on 350 degrees. 350 degrees right here, the oil. So we're gonna put it right here in the hot oil. Like the Cajuns say, let that oil need to talk. That oil need to be talking when you put it in there. Put it in there, that, that oil. Throw it in there, y'all. 
We're gonna let this thing do its thing. Like I say, I'm gonna do like four pieces at a time. Let that all do its thing, y'all. Good old Cajun, Cajun fried snapper. Can't go wrong, right? Can't go wrong with some snapper, fried snapper. Especially if it's Louisiana Cajun style, all right? So anyway, we're gonna let that fry. Probably take about 10, 15 minutes. No fish don't take long. And we'll come back when we take that out. We'll put the rest of it in. Old school mustard, Louisiana mustard fried snapper. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. And y'all know when fish floats, it's pretty much ready here. We'll take this bad boys out of there. Pretty that fish there. Get this one out of here. Look how pretty that is, y'all. Pretty nice snapper there. Put this one here. This one's ready too. It's pretty damn. What I do, I already know, I like to put my fish on a rack. See that? On a wire rack. So we can get the other one put in here. And get the final two pieces. I did the fat pieces first, y'all. But you know, they, they don't take long to cook. And I got the little thin pieces, which call the tail pieces. I'll put them last, because they don't. The thick pieces take longer to cook. That's what I meant. And the little thin pieces, of course, you know it don't take long to cook. So anyway, we're going to get these cooked off, and then we'll be back. And I'll eat mine with some toilet sauce. I don't know what you Cajun people eat y'all catfish. I keep saying catfish. Eat y'all snapper with or fish or catfish or whatever y'all be frying down there in them bayous. So anyway, I'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. All right, y'all, the nice crispy tail pieces ready to come off. Put that on there and put it on my sheet pan with a rack. These are ready, y'all. This is my favorite part right here. Those tail pieces. Tail pieces of snapper, catfish, perch, whatever it is. They don't take long to cook, and that's that crispy part I absolutely love. Let me get this one out of here. Come on out of there. Come on out of there. Drain it off there. Cut my oil off. Let me show y'all here before I clean it up. See that pretty fish? That pretty snapper, see that? That's what you want. Put it and always put it on a rack where your fish will stay crispy. So anyway, y'all, we're gonna come right back. I got my plate ready. And we're gonna try this out and see if I did a good job. I'm gonna see if it tastes like theirs tastes. Anyway, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. Look at this here, y'all. We're gonna play the mustard fried Cajun crawfish, y'all. I said crawfish. Uh, Snapper, I'll get it right here pretty soon. Mustard fried Cajun snapper there. Louisiana style snapper here. And y'all know I love that, that little crispy end piece there. Look at that. You just look how crispy that is and that flakiness. That's the crispy part right here, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that. Look at that nice juicy snapper there. Look at that. All right, I'm a toilet sauce person for this one. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. Little bite there. Look at that. Going in. Y'all, mm. all right, y'all, hold up. It's just me here. I can double dip today. Hold up, y'all. Mm. What will Leroy Thibodeau think about this? And Leroy Thibodeau, if you're watching this video, I want you to comment and let me know that I do a good job. Look at that. Now, he's 72 years old. Now, half the time, now he know I make fun of. Half the time, I don't know what he be saying. He'll say, "Jeff, Jeff, I don't know what the you got to do. I can't do all of them. I don't know more. What they want to go to? He, I don't know what. Yes, sir. I don't know, sir. Cause he real Cajun, old school. He talk fast and got that Louisiana accent. Every time I don't know what he's saying. I just say yes, sir. Look at one more bite. Mmm, 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 mmm. That's good, y'all. I can eat right there. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. And y'all lose y'all people. Don't get mad at me. Y'all be wanting to fight if, if the Texans don't do y'all. Y'all be trying to cook y'all food and don't do it right. Y'all want to come after them. Y'all don't, y'all not be, y'all don't be nice either with your criticism. <laughs> but anyway, that's just another Friday night 
Fish of the Week segment. I say I'll just go to east of the border here and try something different. So anyway, let me go over the video out. If you like the video, please share, please comment, please subscribe, please follow my other social media account, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, TikTok, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2023, just show some kindness. Old School Soul Food. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day. And I will see y'all in the next video. Y'all have a happy, blessed weekend and happy Friday. Love y'all. Bye.